This is a quick video over electrical conductivity and resistivity. So let's say we have some tube. We have some tube and we're going to apply a voltage to it. So we have some voltage applied to it. Whoops. So this is our circuit. We're going to say it's 5 volts and we're going to say that this tube has a length of, so let's change colors, a length of 0 0.05 meters, whoops, 5 meters, that's its length, and an area, so the area right here is equal to 1, or is equal to, let's go 0 0.01 meters squared. Relatively big area, but we're still going to say it's 0 0.1 meters squared. Now, we're going to say that the current going through the wire, so the current, is going to be, um, let's say the current is equal to 1 amp. So I is equal to 1 amp. So the first thing we need to do is find the resistance. So what is the resistance? So what re resistance? Well, all we have to do is use Ohm's law, which says the voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. So if we divide both sides by current, what we get is this current cancels out with that, so we get the resistance is equal to the voltage divided by the current. So that is equal to 5 volts divided by 1 amp. Well, the volts and the amps, well, that just turns into an ohm, so we get 5 ohms. So the resistance is equal to 5 ohms. All right, so now we know the resistance. So R is equal to 5 ohms. So let's get rid of all that. Again, so voltage is the driving force. It's what's pushing the electrons around the circuit. Current is the number of electrons per second going through the circuit. And the resistance is the thing that is resisting the flow of the current. So just wanted to pass that through run time. So to find the electrical um, resistivity, the electrical resistivity, so electrical resistivity, that's pretty straightforward. So what I mean by that is the electrical resistivity is that symbol is equal to the resistance of what we're looking at, the material that we're looking at, times the area of that material divided by the length of that material. So that is how we find the electrical resistivity. So what is the resistance? The resistance is 5 ohms. What is the amperage? The amperage is 1. Right? Or no, that's area. The area, so, yep, this is area. Area is equal to 0 0.01 meters squared divided by the length. Oh, I hope I said that right. So that's length. This is resistance. That is area. So the length is 0 0.05 meters. So what do we see? So we see 5 ohms times 0 0.01 meters, where that's just equal to 0 0.05 ohm meters squared. All of that divided by 0 0.05 meters. This meter cancels out with that squared. So what do we get? We get 1 ohm meter. So that is the electrical resistivity. Now to find the electrical um, conductivity, that's just sigma. I think that's sigma. Electrical conductivity. Activity. And all the electrical conductivity is the inverse of the electrical resistivity. So that's just the electrical conductivity is equal to the electrical resistivity. That's all it is. So that is equal to 1 over 1 ohm meter, which just simplifies to 1 ohm meter to the power of negative 1. So we found the... Uh, electrical conductivity and the electrical resistivity in addition to the resistance with Ohm's law and a few other laws as well. 
Uh, the last thing we should probably find is the electrical field intensity. So let's go with this color. Electrical field intensity. Well, that is just simply equal to, I don't know what this symbol is, but something like that is equal to the voltage divided by the length. So what is the length? Or sorry, what is the voltage? The voltage is 5 volts. So 5 volts divided by the length, which is 0 0.05 meters. And I want to say that's 100, but I'm just going to type that in just for safety. So 5 divided by 0 0.05 is 100. So that is 100 volts per meter. Volts per meter. So the electrical field intensity is 100 volts per meter. So that's basically how strong the electrical field is. Or basically again just the intent, intense, intensity of the electrical field.